then we have almost a thousand megawatts in the highest ex uh, extreme scenarios. So we have a dimension that has still not reached uh, its maturity. We have a technology that has a lot of work to be to be uh, done in front of itself, but potentially is extremely large in the world. In this context, um, as energy green power, we have not only a solar presence, we are a multi-technology company. Renewable energy for us means high geothermal <coughs> energy, wind and solar. Um, we are growing in a growing industry. And if you remember the numbers I've told you before, 86,000 megawatts of installed capacity in one single year. We are today the second largest or the first largest player, depending on what kind of parameter you take. Well, we're very small. We have about 6,000 megawatts of installed capacity. It's a large company, but in the context of renewable energy in the world, small. And that tells you renewable energy is a very fragmented space. There are thousands of thousands of players. They all play the same. Grow, grow, grow. And the space is very large. Competition in renewable energy still does not exist. There's a huge empty space which needs to be filled. Here you see our presence, Europe, North America, and Latin America. Big numbers, we have about three years. And that means that we have to replan. So we planned another, co another uh, strategic growth horizon of five years. Today we will spend 6.4 billion uh, euros of growth. Most of this growth will happen outside of Europe, in Latin America, in, in other parts of Europe that are not either in Spain and in North America. And the growth will go more into solar than, than the previous strategy. Six months between the two strategies, very little solar here, 16% of our plan is solar five years later. We will spend about a billion euros in solar development during the next five years. We have addressed this in a very integrated fashion. Um, the solar strategy we have covers the full value chain. We go into a solar PV uh, in, in a very integrated fashion, and I will try to explain why. First of all, five years, and that means that we have to replan. So we planned another, co another uh, strategic growth horizon of five years. Today we will spend 6.4 billion uh, euros of growth. Most of this growth will happen outside of Europe, in Latin America, in, in other parts of Europe that are not either in Spain and in North America. And the growth will go more into solar than, than the previous strategy. Six months between the two strategies, very little solar here, 16% of our plan is solar five years later. We will spend about a billion euros in solar development during the next five years. We have addressed this in a very integrated fashion. Um, the solar strategy we have covers the full value chain. We go into a solar PV uh, in, in a very integrated fashion, and I will try to explain why. First of all, solar PV in the, in the next years. In between, we have the classic power generation business, so development of projects, building of projects, managing of solar farms. Overall, like I said, a billion euros of plan. Why are we doing this? Because technology is very, very important in solar maybe. There is a lot of things that we, uh, we don't know yet, or that we can improve in solar PV technology. And these things have a lot to do with consumer electronics. This is the only way that private individuals are running solar PV in the, in the next years. In between, we have the classic power generation business, so development of projects, building of projects, managing of solar farms. Overall, like I said, a billion euros of plan. Why are we doing this? Because technology is very, very important in solar maybe. There is a lot of things that we, uh, we don't know yet or that we can improve 
in solar PV technology. Can the industry supply the panels we all need? It depends. And this is the reason why we went back and said we want to have a full position across the value chain. Today, as we speak, the industry is a bit long. There is a lot of panels and a little bit less demand. It has to do with the need for final end users to have their own panels. And we're not talking about only private individuals, but small companies, small businesses, uh, commercial centers, you name it.